Okay, what is up everybody? Today we're back in with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to hunt white tailed deer because tomorrow, as most of you have found out, it is the fabled update coming out and I think most of you guys will want to know how to hunt white tailed deer best as we all are probably going to be going to try and find ourselves a nice fabled white tailed deer or just maybe you're trying to find a diamond, maybe it's been a few months down and people have found fables but you really want to know how to hunt a white tail deer diamond i'm going to be showing you guys that in this video if you are watching this on the 28th i will be streaming in the evening of the 28th of april at central european standard time somewhere at around 7 or 8 pm probably i will link my twitch down below and we're just going to be trying to go for some of those failed ones and just have a little bit of fun trying to find something cool in the game and maybe just do some herd management as i do think these favorite ones are going to be quite hard to get so usually i would not actually run like this route but as you guys can see i have hunting pressure over here so i do want to clear that before we walk this route up here trying to find white tailed deer so we are just down here in balmont lake i just checked the mushroom lake up here there wasn't anything there because i just cleared hunting pressure going up here but this is usually a really nice lake to find white tail deer or black tail deer as well. But I'll be making a video about black tail deers in a later date. So for now, we're going to be checking this lake. And there is a very nice moose back there. I might actually just take him before we do anything else. Not quite sure how far he is though. Let's have a look. He is about... Ah, 300-ish out. So I might just get a little bit closer. But... Our main goal was to try and go all the way back there and see those white tails over there. As that is where they mostly are. This is usually the black tail side. But because of wind sakes and me not trying to spook animals, I have decided to come from this angle instead. And that moose is facing the complete wrong way. And he is going to be traveling. So let me actually pull out the 7mm and trying to go for long shot there hopefully he's gonna go down and hopefully he makes a really nice gold because I don't think he has the antlers for a diamond but you never know and I cannot spot him anymore but we know which way he's going I think he's gonna go down I think that was a very nice long hit and otherwise he's not gonna be going down and that's just black tail bucks running away from us nothing too beautiful there so just gonna let them run away as we are getting closer though to our white tail zones i should mention that they do drink between 12 to 1500 or 12 30 to 1530 or anything in that range so that's the time you want to be hunting these black tail deer are usually around as well and moose at the beginning like you just saw there however their zone ends at around 1300 and I don't see any white tail deer as of now. I do know we have drinking zones further down that way. So we're just going to be making our way down there. And our moose did actually die. So I'm going to quickly collect him. Or come back when I find some white tail deer. So here is our moose. I only saw some black tail running away while we were going here. He didn't die in a too great position. But he has some big horns. I don't know if level 4 moose can make diamond. But if they could, this would probably be the one that could make it. Because he has some very nice, well, shovel down at the bottom. So let's just have a look what he makes. He is just a gold. Oh, he's so close to. He is so close to. He's only four off. Well, 4.6 actually, but still, he looks really nice. We're going to be sending him to the lodge, even though we are kind of broke on the beginner's account. But... Now let's get back to what we actually are here for in this video and that is trying to find ourselves some white tailed deer. So I'm going to be right back once I see those zones or just another moose but I'm not going to shoot him down. going to let him run and I'll be right back. Okay so I just traveled down here at the bottom of this lake as we're going to be walking up here now. I don't know for what reason Balmont Lake wasn't giving me anything. But, I know that there's white tail zones there, like, if you watch the beginner series, it's the exact same map. You guys saw that we shot 
like five, six white tail deers around there last time, or like in the first or second episode around there. So you know that there's all kinds of white tail deer running around there, and I do not know why they're not showing up right now. The wind is kind of bad for where I'm trying to go, so I'm kind of trying to run outside and look down the lake but it's not really working right now as we are now just going to be trying to going northward up the lake here and trying to see what we can find i have found i think two or three diamond white tailed deer doing this method running up this lake and i have one filmed it was on my ps4 though and the quality is not that great but i am gonna put that clip in there later on in this video if we don't actually find anything cool because well right now the video looks kind of bad all we have is a nice moose i mean he's really nice but doesn't really help me with finding white tailed deer around here but i'm gonna go around here check where they are i am gonna show you guys in between always where there are hot spots for these white tailed deer and where they usually are standing around especially on multiplayer servers and i know i'm probably spooking quite a few by just sprinting through here but I just the wind is not really in my favor either way so it's not really gonna matter I'm gonna spook them either way but around this bank over here they love to drink and feed so this is a hot spot even if you're going for other animals at different times or just along this bay right here so if you don't know where we are at the map right now, it's right in here. I have a moose on there right now, but this zone over here, white tail deer are or along this edge right here. They're usually not too close to the pathway or the bridge over here. But once I check this area down here, I will actually just fast travel up here and go right over there and check that zone. So let me place a way marker there and hopefully find something there, even though the wind is kind of not in our favor right now but hopefully we get to actually still spot something there and so what i'll usually do is i'll go like right behind here just jump over the fence and then go a little bit towards the bridge so i can look over this whole area that kind of unfolds once you get out of the brush here and you can see pretty nicely and pretty far and see if you have any zones there one thing i do want to mention is if you only see one deer or no deer at like really good hot spots Make sure you look at the place from different angles, as I sometimes didn't spot these zones over here because they were kind of standing behind that brush. So I would walk out of this outpost thinking, oh, there's no white tailed deer on this multiplayer server, and miss out on finding all of those white tailed deer because I was just not looking at it from the right perspective or the right place. Same thing goes for that, and look, there we have our first turn. Same thing goes for that zone back there. I have had them kind of just stand in the taller grass and I was just kind of looking pretty quickly to see if I could find anything and then obviously I didn't see them so I just moved on but who knows maybe there would have been a diamond there and I just ran right away from that so about 228 out. I'm gonna shoot that guy back there. You can use a seven millimeter for these just at these weird distances just kind of aim a little bit higher as of the bullet drop but I explained that into in my video about how to aim better if you're a person who likes to hunt more with a bow and arrow I would recommend taking the deer bleed or the deer grunt collar with you as those really help you out in calling in white tail deer they're not too hard to call in but I mean if they're like really stubborn and the wind is bad or they're a diamond, they are a bit more stubborn, but they're nowhere near as other animals who really just take a lot of time coming in for calls. I genuinely don't see a lot of deer at that edge of the lake. It is over there or behind that kind of like bushy area. There's like another like curve going in where there is usually quite a few deer as well. So I'm gonna walk over there in just a second, pick this guy up, and then see what else we can find. And I'm surprised that that bear didn't move when we actually shot that first shot. But I'm gonna go over there now, 
see what I can find. Claim the white child here as I think he might just be a gold. He, he's nowhere. He doesn't even have the hydro over anything, so I don't even know if he's going to be gold. Yeah, he's just a silver. Didn't have big uh, horns anyways. Not horns, but like... What do you call Like, he didn't have any, like, a big rack on him. I guess we'll use that word, a rack. Didn't have a big rack on him. So next part, once I come here, check back there. As you guys can see, you can already spot the white tailed deer from here. Just spotted a female there though, but I saw two or three other ones standing around that one. Just a low level two again. I'm trying to spot that other one. I think it's a female though. So just gonna go around here. The wind is really in our favor. So I'm gonna try and walk over there and see what we can see, find. And look, just another two right there another one right there so there are quite a few white tail if you find the zone they are usually in bigger herds of around 10 to 20 but don't be discouraged some herds are just pretty small some of them may only have two or three deer and i just actually made them flee which might work in my favor so i can move over there and not have them in that tall brush area because getting a shot off there is just a pain and I have high hunting pressure anyway so don't know if I'm gonna take that shot but there's nothing too crazy in there so I'm actually gonna let them be for now and just come back when the fable one update is out so after I check that area we are gonna be going up along here and having a look what we can find i do like to like stay on this side just so i can see this area over here as they aren't where the moose zone is i don't have a lot of deer standing around there they are usually on that other side for me at least and on multiplayer servers as well i've gone on quite a few to try and check my theory if that is true or if my map is just being weird like that but generally speaking they are on the left side of this kind of river, river canal. So I'm going to be walking here and then crossing to the other side. And be right back once I find something so that this video is not too long. Okay, so we are here now where I mentioned that I sometimes do find those white tail zones. I, this is the place actually where I found my diamond. And I'm going to be putting this clip in here as I didn't shoot that many animals in this hunt. For this guide so just a little bonus at the end it's gonna be the first diamond posted on this channel so hopefully you guys enjoy it i don't know if i have commentary on there because well my software for recording the ps4 is being kind of weird in the last little while so i'm just gonna see if i have it on there otherwise i'm just gonna be talking over it kind of what i thought about that situation but now that we're here at this zone they are along this ridge usually and we should be still in drinking time right i haven't been talking too long yeah they should still be drinking for a while so anywhere along this whole kind of bay is where you'll be seeing white tail deer sometimes behind those trees there so like i said get a different perspective but i've done that on this map and i don't really have too much luck on here so I was just going to show you guys where it's at. Once you actually get this curve at this lake, there are zones all along up there as well usually. I haven't really checked that on my map yet, so I'm going to do that later on as well if I have someone here. But they like to stay on the left side of the lake and they will hide in those trees kind of for cover so they're not standing all out in the open. Or once you get along this lake up here past before even the bridge sometimes here at this little like water hole there they'll be standing there also a famous spot right up here or right along here and occasionally here once you start going up here there's less white-tailed deer and more black-tailed deer moose or roosevelt elks they sometimes tend to go up here but once again it's a bit less the only spot where I'd recommend checking is around here, around this kind of island thing. There are quite a few zones there, but I'm going to roll the clip of the diamond now. I hope you guys enjoy the video. 
have a good day make sure to subscribe if you're new press the like button and comment down below what cool finds you found or if you have a different strategy fronting white tail deer i'd like to know and yeah that's gonna be it for this video have a good day bye bye and peace